So guys, if you own a Tesla and have hardware 3, you've been paying attention to everything that has been going on and it has been more than frustrating for all of us. Today marks nearly one and a half month ever since the original post where Elon indicated that they were transitioning over to the next generation AI model, which makes it very difficult to achieve without upgrading the full self-driving computer. All this is due to a five times parameter count increase on which hardware 3 is now six years old and just cannot handle the the processing requirement. Now software engineers can do all sorts of magic, all sorts of optimization to get the latest hardware running the latest software. This is exactly what I do on a daily basis, but it does come to a point where all my efforts to optimize reaches a point where it outweighs the benefits. This is where we rather drop support. Luckily for us, however, Tesla is not in this position just yet. They are doing everything in their efforts to optimize hardware 3 to run the latest software. Since the release of 12.5 and the transition over to the next generation AI model, owners of Hardware 3 have been left completely in the dark. Here or there, we would get responses from Elon regarding the difficulties of making it work for older hardware. Having that they are now training data on Hardware 4, it will take them considerable amount of effort to optimize the code to run officially on Hardware 3. Not only are they compiling the codes down to a smaller package, but they are independently testing and validating these codes on older cars at the same time doing it on newer cars as well. Now with that you can see how economically this is not a viable option in the long run. This is only going to hinder the progress of full self-driving development requiring doubling the resources to keep older hardware running the latest software. But for now in our benefit this is what they are willing to do and if you want to see the very first sign in the latest software update with the camera color processing tuned way down go check out my previous video. I would drop that in the description below and up top there. Now today realistically marks the 18th day since the original ETA and I know this is just a rough estimate but a lot of us were on the tip of our toes waiting for the latest version of full self-driving to be available on our cars. Sadly for us we were met with further disappointment. All of this did not happen and all we can hope for now is that it comes in the following weeks. Now typically following trends FSD releases roll out on a Friday and today is Friday. That means that there is a real good chance that we may be seeing FSD 12.5.1.3 roll out for hardware 3 vehicles. Hopefully that is the case, but if it is not, maybe this weekend, a Saturday and Sunday is what you're going to look out for. So now, although Elon hasn't been keeping us up to date on the current situation and status of Hardware 3 and full self-driving, he has recently responded to whole Mars catalogs post regarding Hardware 3 owners waiting for the latest release of full self-driving and when can it be made available. Elon's response was that the team is currently working on it and that it will come with a different release number. Now what we can extrapolate from all this is that the team is definitely working on optimizing for hardware 3 and we can expect it to come out in a matter of weeks, we just don't know exactly when. But the most interesting part about his short response was that it will be getting a completely new build number. We don't know exactly what this entails, will it be the same 12.5 branch or will it be 12.4.x with some sprinkles on top. What we do know however is that the two software branches have finally forked and that means that there will be separate testing and separate validation on every new release that comes out. And best put it by Chuck Cook who I have referenced many times in my previous videos that to compile and optimize for older hardware will eventually come at the expense of performance, functionality, and latency. So at this point we are not completely clear out of the tunnel just yet although Elon has just confirmed that they are definitely working on the next generation AI model for hardware 3. It doesn't mean that they won't encounter bottlenecks and issue which will further delay the development of hardware 3 and full self-driving. What I will say however is once they pass the hurdle of optimizing for 12.5 everything else, all the decimal points will come at a breeze. All of this will slowly come out working for Hardware 3. We don't know the exact path yet. We don't know for sure in the future yet if it will be compatible with 12.6, 12.7, or V13, 
but we do know that right now we are likely going to be getting the 12.5 branch and anything else that comes after that. Regardless of what the outcome may be and how much longer it will take, we all can be happy about the fact that the team is still working to get Hardware 3, a six year old computer, to be working on the latest software for full self driving. We are all really hoping to hear some really good news, hopefully this evening, if not leading into the weekend. But I will be keeping you guys as updated as possible on everything that comes up. So make sure you guys stick around and hit that subscribe and bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. Over there, you guys will hear everything first before I even pop it out in YouTube here. This should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.